today in this video, I want to talk about uh, coloration in plants and lighting. And I'm using these Christmas cactuses as an example. Uh, before I talk about the coloration of the plants and the lighting and how it affects it, I just want to mention that a Christmas cactus... All right, so I wanted to interject this video real quick because I went on talking about what a Christmas cactus is, and I wasn't very clear on that. So I wanted to clarify that real quick. A Christmas cactus is in the cactus family, but it's not in the traditional sense. It doesn't have any spines or spikes on it, anything like that. It's not an arid climate cactus, meaning it doesn't grow in the desert. So this type of cactus grows in the rainforest in Brazil. It grows usually on rocks or high up in the trees and it hangs down. It's more closely related to like a vine. Um, it doesn't hang down very far in the trees, but it can get fairly long. And the only reason it's really called a Christmas cactus or a Thanksgiving cactus or an Easter cactus, uh, those aren't all the same thing, but they get people get those confused. Uh, or the, traditionally, people would call it a crab cactus. But the, in the Northern Hemisphere here, um, the reason why it's called a Christmas cactus is because it blooms around Christmas, uh, actually more closer to Thanksgiving technically. But that's just because of the daylight hours. So as soon as this light, uh, plant gets 12 hours of darkness, it will start to flower. And then typically it flowers for about a month, month and a half or so, and then it kind of stops. So now we're gonna get back into the video so I can continue. Now, when they do flower, they will, uh, on the ends, of these branches, or I should say the leaves, the ends, these will start to get a little bit of a color to them. Uh, usually kind of like the color of the, the color of the flower, so it might be like a pinkish hue. But if you notice right now, these two here, you can notice they're just green. And these are sitting in the windowsill, and these always sit in the windowsill all year long. And they never really turn much different color than this green, this is pretty much it except for when they start to bloom, which would be around November. And at that time, there's not really, it's not really receiving much light, not much more light than they receive now, which is in December. So you can see here that it's pretty much green. And oh, by the way, the, this here, I kind of made it into a bonsai tree. Uh, I still have to shape a little bit more, but I got this idea from Nigel Saunders in the bonsai zone. Um, I never thought about shaping a Christmas cactus because normal people normally will have it in like a pot and then it'll be like overflowing just huge and flowers all over the place and just kind of getting all over your wherever you're having it set on and it'll actually secrete a sap and then that will ruin whatever you have it on uh, it'll stick to it and it's not really good for it so i saw what he did on his channel i decided well you know what that's a really great idea i already have a christmas cactus that's aged and i can certainly make a trunk out of it so i did so that's a little credit to him. I didn't, I'm not taking any credit for making this look like a tree. But anyways, getting into what I wanted to talk about with the lighting and the coloration. As I said, you'll see how green this looks. Now up, I'm gonna put here on the screen here, you'll see I have this Christmas, Christmas cactus in a grow tent and I have it under these QG LED strips. It's a warm white and cool white LED combo and they're just, it's just basically diffused light in these strips. And you can see the coloration on the uh, leaves, it's actually got a nice red tone to it. And a lot of times you go on uh, eBay or Amazon, you'll see these cheap LED lights that are red and blue, and they'll often show a picture of succulents on there, like look how much different, uh, look how much more color you're getting out of your succulents by using these red and blue lights, and people attribute it to the coloration of the light. It has nothing to do with the color of the light that it's receiving. The only difference you're changing is that normally people will add lights onto their plants and you're doing nothing more than increasing the light intensity. And when, if you ever keep, if anyone who keeps an aquarium, they know in order to keep red plants in an aquarium, you need higher light intensity to bring out those, the red color in your plants. So this is why you're looking at these in the windowsill. These don't receive very much direct sunlight. It's indirect and it's, it's a very low light. Uh, if I was to put my meter on here, I could show it to you, but just take my word for it. So you can see the difference between the one that was in the grow tent and these on the sill, and they're both receiving um, light, just one is receiving more intense light, and it's white light. It has nothing to do with red and blue light. So if anyone's looking to buy a light and they want to have bring out more colors in their plants, like succulents or cactus and stuff like that, 
Uh, you can do it with white light. You simply just need to increase the light intensity. It has nothing to do with the color of the light. That's how red plants are red uh, in an aquarium uh, and actually outdoors too. But if people keep an aquarium, it's easier to relate it to that. Because you know, if you don't have an intense enough light, your red plants kind of turn more green. So that's it for this video. It was a little bit longer of an explanation than I had hoped for, but I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.